Have you ever dreamed of a visual effects tool? One so real you could almost feel it. As it turns out, the tool is real. Until now, we've been stuck with just a few different ways to warp images. But what if you want images to flow along a path? That's what this tool does. The other tools are not really meant for bending things in a significant way, especially when there are many different directional changes. Now, in the past, I've actually solved this problem using a VR headset and creating these little 3D strips of geometry, which you can import into Nuke and put a texture onto. But I wanna create a tool that's just inside Nuke. So here's the concept. We draw a roto spline, and then we determine a distance away from the center of the spline. With this, we can create a tunnel around that roto shape. And this allows us to have the UV coordinates to flow images down the path of that tunnel that we've just created. So the input is just a sliding image. The two ways we use this is stretching the image or flowing an image down the path. So we'll talk about stretch first. So let's see how this works. I have an image here that I created earlier that flows from left to right. So you always want your image to start on the left because that's the start of the path and the end of the path is on the right side. So now what we need to do is draw a rotospline that this will stick to. So if I click my rotospline and I go here and choose open spline, we can draw any path we want and simply hit enter. And now we go to flow warp and we say sample roto. And you can see our image automatically warps to the path. So if I close this, hit play and let's just check it out. We can see that this is working pretty well right off the bat. Now we have a bunch of controls here that we can do to modify the look of this. Let's say we wanna make this a little bit wider, for example. We can click here and we can go to the distance and something like, you know, go from 30 to 80 and we can make this a wider looking effect. We also have number of samples. So if there's not enough samples, let's say we have too low of samples, you get a little bit blurring in here. So you just wanna increase this to a higher number. And the other thing you can do is if you still see a little bit of stretching or blurring in here, we can just add a tiny bit of blur to the UV blur and that will actually smooth out the effect across the path. Now, this will cause a little bit of artifacting around the edges, but I've added a control here called erode edge. So you can just erode in the edge a tiny bit and that will fix that up. Uh, and now we have a nice looking effect flowing smoothly across our path. The other thing you can do here is crop off the edges if you need to. So you can put a crop node and add a little bit of smoothness so that we just fade off the edges uh, easily. And then that's gonna have a nice tapering effect on the edges. Additionally, you have some controls for the taper. So if we wanna increase or decrease the width of the start and end points, we have control for that. So if I decrease these to zero, you see we have like this nice tapered pointing effect if that's what you're looking for. And so you can go pretty extreme with these warps. Like here I'm warping around the nuke logo, which has a lot of curvature. And to do this otherwise would be pretty difficult. And this is another quick example of taking this stock element from the Compositing Academy look dev pack. There's 200 of these energy effects that you can get. And we're essentially flowing this onto a path. So something that's very straight, we can flow this around edges and we can create new designs by warping a bunch of these together. A big part of compositors jobs is to redirect stock elements and be creative with these elements. So here's another example where we have some particles shooting from left to right. So I've oriented them. Now, if we put this through flow warp, we could take this and we can make those particles flow around something. So if something, maybe a character lands on the ground and shoots up some sparks or some large impact uh, around two characters fighting or happening, this is where we need to be creative and actually think of the, the use cases here. Now here's the flow technique. Here's another creative example. I just took a roto shape and pulled out one of the edges to create this comet-like roto shape. And then I grade it. And I put a quadratic luma key on it, which is again, video on my channel, check it out. So we get this nice little light fall off. And now if I squeeze this and I do an offset, which essentially just makes it go off of the right side of the image and come back onto the left side of the image, we have this sort of little comet shape that's flowing along here. And if we put that through the flow warp, we can actually get something that looks like uh, an image shooting around our, you know, basically our picture. So we could create all kinds of particle effects using this. So that's the, the technique using the flow instead of stretching an image the whole width we just slide images across uh, the dimension. Now, if you're an advanced user and you wanna experiment more with this, if you go inside the node itself, you can actually link these points. Instead of using the roto shape, you can link them to something manually. So we could create different types of effects like this. I was just playing around with more experimental approaches and how could this idea be pushed further? So that's just something out there for the advanced users. So the free download is in the description below. And if you like this video, make sure to hit thumbs up so I can keep making more videos like this.